What if everything you thought you knew about memory loss was wrong? Memory loss isn't just an inevitable part of aging. It's a sign that something is going wrong inside your brain. The good news is you can do something about it. And today, I'm going to share with you the real reasons why people lose their memories, and more importantly, how you can protect yours before it's too late. Stick with me to the end because you'll learn practical steps that you can take right now to save your brain and keep it sharp. Hi, I'm Dr. Glenn, and for over 40 years, I've been helping people uncover the real reasons behind memory loss and cognitive decline, and more importantly, how to stop it. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the common causes of memory loss, and here's a spoiler. It's not about getting older. The causes of memory loss are well known and they're preventable. Most people think that memory loss is an unavoidable part of aging, and that is simply not true. Memory loss happens because of specific things like inflammation, nutrient deficiencies, oxidative stress, and even insulin resistance. Issues that we can address and that we can fix, and I'm going to show you exactly how we can do that. So first of all, let's debunk a few myths. The first thing is that memory loss is normal as you age. This belief is outdated and unfortunately, it's the one that's often passed down by well-meaning doctors and even family members. The next thing is most medical training is actually outdated. Many doctors were trained decades ago when the understanding of brain health was far less advanced. They were taught about things like neuroplasticity, which is the brain's ability to rewire itself or the critical role that inflammation plays in neurodegeneration. So when they tell you memory loss is normal, it's not because they're bad doctors. It's because they're working with outdated information. The next thing that we need to realize is the blind trust that we put into doctors. We grow up trusting our doctors to know everything that they need to know about health and taking care of us. And while doctors are highly trained, they don't always stay up to date with the latest research, particularly in niche areas like cognitive decline and brain health. This blind trust can lead us to accept misinformation without question. There is also a lack of public awareness. As a matter of fact, there is a huge gap between what's happening in cutting edge brain research and what most people know. Studies that could drastically shift how we approach brain health often stay locked up in academic journals and don't reach the public. This leads people to think that we don't know what causes memory loss, but the truth is we know exactly what causes memory loss. Now let's talk about the specific things that cause memory loss. And these aren't mysterious factors. They're well documented in the scientific literature and they're things that we can fix. The first is inflammation in the brain. Inflammation can be triggered by poor diet, high levels of stress, toxins, and even a lack of sleep. When the brain is inflamed, it becomes less efficient. And over time, this leads to memory problems confusion, and even cognitive decline, and can even be a trigger for Alzheimer's. One of the things that you can do is an anti-inflammatory diet. As a matter of fact, it is one of the most powerful tools that we have to combat memory loss. By reducing processed foods, sugars, and inflammatory oils, and increasing foods like leafy grains, healthy fats, good quality meats, omega-3s, you can reduce brain inflammation significantly. Next are nutrient deficiencies. Your brain needs specific nutrients to function properly, particularly B vitamins, vitamin D, magnesium, and omega-3 fatty acids. Deficiencies in these critical nutrients starve the brain of what it needs to perform tasks like memory recall and problem solving. And this is where targeted supplements can come into play. While we always want to focus on getting nutrients through a good, healthy diet, some people need supplements to fill in the gaps. This becomes especially important as we age. Next up is oxidative stress. 
Oxidative stress occurs when there's an imbalance between something called free radicals and antioxidants in the body. This leads to damage in the cells, including brain cells. And over time, this kind of stress damages the neurons in your brain. It can make memory recall more difficult. It can also decrease the energy levels in your brain. We combat oxidative stress by increasing our intakes of antioxidants, things that are found in colorful fruits, vegetables, and even certain supplements like vitamin C and vitamin E. Something that is often overlooked is insulin resistance and blood sugar regulation. This is a major cause of memory loss. And this is often overlooked, but it is the result of a high carbohydrate diet. When your body can't regulate blood sugar properly, it actually damages your brain cells. And in fact, some researchers are even referring to Alzheimer's disease now as type 3 diabetes because of the link between poor blood sugar regulation or control and cognitive decline. Managing blood sugar by cutting out refined carbs and sugars and focusing on low-carb, nutrient-dense foods like good quality fats, proteins, this has a profound impact on your brain. So let's talk about consequences and why waiting is dangerous. Waiting is dangerous because cognitive decline is a progressive disease. It doesn't stay the same. It gets worse over time. And every day that you wait to take action is a day that more brain cells are lost. And those cells don't come back. Memory loss is also progressive. It is degenerative and progressive. It accelerates. What can start as small lapses in memory, such as forgetting names or where you left your keys, eventually turns into serious problems like forgetting entire conversations, appointments, and the inability to even perform basic tasks. Something that's also very important can be the loss of independence. Without intervention, memory loss will impact your ability to live independently. Tasks like managing your finances, cooking, remembering to take your medications, these can become impossible with cognitive decline. Eventually, you may require help from caregivers or even the need to transition into assisted living. There's also an emotional strain that goes along with cognitive decline. Memory loss doesn't just affect you, it affects the people who love and care about you. And as your cognitive decline worsens, your relationships will become strained. Family members may have to step in as caregivers, which can lead to stress, frustration, and even resentment. The emotional toll is real in these situations. And finally, cognitive decline takes a toll on your mental health. As you become more aware of your memory problems, it can lead to embarrassment, frustration, and even depression. Many people withdraw from social activities because they're afraid of making mistakes, which only accelerates the decline. So how do we fix it? Well, the good news is that it's never too late to take action. In my clinic, we focus on a comprehensive approach that addresses the root causes of memory loss and cognitive decline. And here's how we do it. The first step is running advanced labs to identify the specific causes of your memory loss. We look at nutrient levels, inflammation markers, insulin sensitivities, toxic exposure, and other markers. This gives us a clear picture of what's going on in your brain. The next, we look at dietary interventions. We immediately address inflammation through diet. An anti-inflammatory or low-carb diet that is nutrient-rich is one of the most powerful ways to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress in the brain. We want to also focus on regulating blood sugar to protect your brain from further damage due to excessive amount of insulin production. The next thing up are targeted supplements. Based on your lab results, we can recommend supplements to address any of the deficiencies that might show up. This could include B vitamins, omega-3s, magnesium, antioxidants, Taking the right supplements based on your unique needs is crucial for restoring brain health. Don't just take what you see on TV or what someone recommends to you. It has to be specific 
to you. Something that is emerging as a very powerful thing is what we call neuroplasticity. And that's the brain's ability to rewire itself. And it's incredibly important for memory restoration. We use targeted exercises and drills to activate and retrain areas of the brain where you have lost function. This is critical for improving cognitive function and memory. So if you're experiencing memory loss or you're worried about cognitive decline, now is the time to act. You can download my free longevity toolkit where I give you step-by-step -step guidance on how to protect your brain and reverse memory loss. You can also get access to my free webinar where I dive deeper into the hidden causes of cognitive decline. And before you go, make sure to hit the subscribe button to my channel and also click the bell icon so that you'll never miss content when I release it. This content can change your life. Also, check out the next video in this series where I'll be talking about how inflammation affects your brain and how to stop it. Remember, memory loss isn't normal. Don't wait until it's too late. Take action today. Uncover the real causes of memory loss, protect your brain, and start your journey to better brain health. Download the Longevity Toolkit, watch the webinar, and I'll see you in the next video.